We begin tonight at 5 with an alert that the Erie County Department of Health wants you to know about, but with an emphasis, I repeat with an emphasis, that there is currently no risk posed to the general public. Good evening, I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. Erie County says it has confirmed the first case of monkeypox here, but there's no need for any sort of panic. That patient is in isolation as the county conducts contact tracing to determine if anyone else was exposed to the virus. The rare viral infection usually does not result in serious illness, but hospitalization or death is possible. Symptoms start similar to the flu with fever, headache and fatigue. Now a rash will then develop that looks like pimples or blisters on parts of the body. We spoke with a local infectious disease expert about it this afternoon. He says not to worry because your chance of contracting it are very low. The community should not panic over this announcement of a case of monkeypox here in Erie County. This is an infection that's not easily transmissible. It requires prolonged, close physical contact with someone that's infected and has skin lesions. And it's not something like COVID that's easily acquired through aerosol spread or through the uh, casual contact, like walking maybe through the Wegmans vegetable section. And so there's really no reason for the general public to panic at this point because their risk of getting infected is a very, very, very low number. The county health department is now working with the state to vaccinate any high risk and intermediate risk close contacts of the infected person. Individuals who were not a close contact of a confirmed case are not eligible for a monkeypox vaccine right now.